Is holding your breath when you hit the ball causing you to be too stiff and preventing you from relaxing? That's what I'm gonna be talking about in this video because I've seen a number of videos from different coaches that talk about the importance of exhaling to help you relax on your shots. But I want to encourage you to, to think about things in a different way and explain why that might not be the case. Now, the way that I'm gonna explain it to you and demonstrate it to you is a little bit obnoxious, but I want to do it as a thought process to get you thinking in a certain way. And then I'm gonna explain what is potentially going on in your body and what you might need to work on to actually fix the issue so you can stay more relaxed on your shots. So the way that you breathe does have an impact on your nervous system. And often when people are stressed, they hold their breath. But the question is, is holding your breath the reason that you're not able to relax when you play your strokes? And that's where it's a case of, is it a chicken or the egg that came first? So to demonstrate this to you, I'm gonna basically hold my breath. So I'm gonna breathe in, I'm gonna hit four or five balls and see if I can maintain my relaxation while I'm hitting these balls. Now, I'm also gonna do this left-handed and in awkward lighting conditions with shade to make this more challenging. And then I'll kind of explain how this works and how I recommend that you think about things afterwards. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I got a few more, maybe got seven or eight balls, but hopefully you could see that I was still able to stay pretty relaxed and hit a reasonable quality of shot while I was holding my breath. So I wanted to demonstrate things like that to illustrate a certain point and to get you to think about things in a certain way because there's a lot of videos on YouTube where people are making very definitive statements about the importance of not holding their breath. So, okay, the reason that you're stiff and you're not relaxed on your shots is because you're holding your breath. So by exhaling and focusing on your exhale, that's gonna fix your problems. And, you know, potentially thinking about exhaling might be beneficial and if it is, keep doing it. But what I want you to understand is you shouldn't have to think about your breathing when you're playing tennis. Breathing is an automated process that you've been doing all day, every day, since the moment you were born, and you've been doing it just fine. But people do hold their breath when they're tense. It's our kind of stress response. <gasps> so we know that there is some stress going on. The question is, what's causing the stress? And what this most likely comes down to is the difficulties of visual prediction. It's one of the hardest things in tennis is to know where the ball is. And if you think about the three most common problems that people face, number one is late preparation. Like everyone knows they need to prepare early, but players stand there and they wait and they wait and they wait because they don't know where the ball's going. And then they take their racket back. The next common problem is kind of footwork and not moving into the right position, which is basically the same thing because it's hard to move into the right position if you don't know where the ball's going. And then the third biggest problem or most common problem is timing, hitting the ball late. And that's, again, often one of the biggest reasons that people are tight because they're like, ah, oh, where's the ball going? When do I start my swing? And they're kind of tense trying to figure out where the ball's going. And they're really nervous about it. And they're basically holding the grip tighter because if they hit the ball late, they don't want the racket to get taken out of their hand. So just focusing on the exhale and just thinking about relaxing the hand might not necessarily solve the problem. Potentially what you're gonna have to do to solve the problem is to improve how your visual system is functioning to improve your visual predictive capacities. And I've been through this myself and you might find that once things are working more efficiently, you'll just naturally be more relaxed on your shots because you'll know where the ball is and you'll just be able to stay relaxed because your timing will be more efficient. So if you would like help with that, I've got a free program that's going to help you to get started. I'll place the link down in the description and I'll place a link up there so you can check it out. There's also some cool assessments that you can do for your visual system. So I made a video that's more about timing, but it's going to show you a couple of vision assessments and some coordination assessments to kind of see if this might be going on and affecting your timing as well. So I'll place that there so you can check that out if you're interested in that as well.